Coming up in this video from Cornwall, we visit our first stone circle of the journey, Lucy takes a spill, the beautiful coastline is calling, and we try a traditional English breakfast. Hello, we are Ben and Rebecca, and this is our puppy Lucia. In the fall of 2021, we shipped our 4x4 camper van Denny across the Atlantic in search of new experiences and a life less ordinary. Welcome to our journey. Well, good morning. It is day three of our tour through Cornwall. Had a very restful night on the Roscoe farm and ice creamery. It was a uh, just a wonderful place to stay. Uh, that field was gorgeous. And the sounds of the cows, that's what it's about. Uh, day three, uh, we are gonna push on and see what the road has in store for us. We're not covering much ground here, guys. Through these three videos, I think we've maybe, as the crow flies, covered about 60 miles. So there's a lot to do here. It's been a wonderful trip so far, and we want to keep that trend rolling today. You should start turning now. Okay. I think that's enough you can... What a cute little fisherman's cottage. So what was it called? Merry Maiden Circle? Decided when we got to this point, at least from this direction, we're scratching that idea. Oh, we're just asking wait. for trouble. Wait, wait, wait. Oh wait, Google I bet did Google messed us up. The stupidest thing routing us through this neighborhood. There's like a full blown road that we could take right to the place. Oh, Google. Found a different, much more reasonable approach. So far. So far. We say that as the road gets more narrow here. <laughs> Arse out of the road. I can't see your arse. Can't block that gate, can't block that gate, can't block the bus stop. We're here. Okay. Are you ready? Hi, Luch! Let's go, Luchi! You did the stone circle! Oh goodness! You clumsy girl, are you alright? Okay, let's go, Luch. This is Mary Maiden's Stone Circle, one of five stone circles in the Cornwall region, and one of over 1,000 in Ireland and the UK. So there are 19 stones in each of the five circles in this region, and uh, they believe that there are 19 stones because uh, it correlates with the 19, well, 18.64 year cycle of the moon. <laughs> uh, each of those stones are equally spaced with the exception of one set of stones, and they're about double the distance, and they assume that is the entrance to the stone circle. Uh, the name 
Merry maidens came from some folklore about those stones being petrified women who were dancing and danced into the Sabbath, and because they did that, they were turned to stone. Uh, the name before that, the original Cornish name, was Dawn's Main, which meant dancing stones. These stones are from the Neolithic period, which was about 1500 to 2500 BC or 2500 to 1500 BC. So very old stones. And, uh, and I just love how Lucy ran around inside the stone. That was so cool. Uh, but very special and part of the Celtic heritage here in uh, this region of the world. Welcome to Cape Cornwall, which is part of the National Trust program, which we joined a couple days ago. So yeah, we put out over $100 for it, but today is free. This was spectacularly beautiful and that hike was awesome. It is that time of day to find a place to park for the night. So we're gonna bust out the phones and look at the many apps we have that give us options and try to find a place to lay our head for the night. Okay, we are here. This is called the Engine Inn. It's a pub, one of those, you patronize the business, you get a place to park for the night. So I'm pretty confident we are going to do breakfast just because uh, we got some work calls this evening and kind of exhausted from all this uh, playing tourist that we've been doing. But this is a totally adequate, you know, place to stay, uh, beautiful. The pub looks amazing and uh, I think we're starting to get our legs under us. I know I'm feeling a little more comfortable driving, which helps. So yeah, we're getting used to our new life here in the UK. Hey, Lucy, do you want some of what I cut up? Uh -huh. Is that a yes? Okay. Then Aki, come on. Oh, that's Papa's girl. Okay, there you go. There's some carrot, bell pepper, and that's it. All right, it's dinner time in our house. We'll do breakfast inside the pub. The reviews for breakfast are great, and I thought that would be nice to share with you guys tomorrow. But for dinner tonight, yesterday at that little uh, farm stand, we picked up an Indian korma sauce, and there's basmati rice cooking here, and we got some organic minced lamb, and these are all the vegetables that we are gonna put in it. The lamb is still a little bit frozen and I wanted to do meatballs, but I'm just gonna have to speed up the process and do it kind of ground or minced up and then pour the sauce. So since the lamb is frozen, I'm gonna uh, give it a little bit of a head start before I toss in the other vegetables. So they kind of all end up in a perfect world, the same doneness. Well, I used the jar to uh, drain the grease off of the meat. So the sauce is in one of our bowls. Houston, we do have one problem. There's not enough sauce for all the 
fillings that I uh, cut up. So it'll be a very chunky Indian dish. There, Lucy takes her spot. One thing about living in this tiny space is typically in our house, one person cooks and one person cleans. Because if you both tried to be in this kitchen, a meal would never get made. You're just tripping over each other. It'd be a fight. <laughs> For sure. So this looks like an amazing meal. Thank you, Ben. And bon appetit. Muy bien. All right. Going to enjoy dinner and uh, our evening together. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you getting on? I feel really good this morning. Yeah, the wind ended up dying down, so the uh, squeaky sign didn't keep me up at all. And this road was very quiet during the middle of the night. Obviously, during the day, there's people using it. But today is going to be a first. My first legit <laughs> English breakfast. I'm so excited for I had some version of it in Spain, but... Not the same. Not the so same. So I've heard. Well, she said 9 a.m. I'm going to go try going around the building. They have a really nice outdoor uh, beer garden area. Oh, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Okay. Thanks for Wonderful. This is so cool. The uh, floors in here are historic old stone. I don't know why, but it's the little things that fascinate me. So this is called a full English breakfast. I'm guessing these are hash browns. Yep, that is definitely potato. Uh, cooked tomatoes. This is some sort of a ham or a bacon. A really cool little roll of sausage and scrambled eggs, toast. And this is one I've been really, really curious about because they put beans on a lot of things here. Like I've seen beans on uh, baked potatoes, beans over toast. So I'm curious, like, are these like, pork and beans from the States? Let's see. Mm. They're not sweet like uh, pork and beans in the States, but they're beans and I guess they're good, but I don't know about putting them on a potato or toast. Or for breakfast. Or for breakfast, but mm, went in Rome. Such a huge breakfast, you hardly make a dent in it, but it was delicious. And what was the verdict on the beans and the tomatoes? The beans taste great. Uh, I'm just not quite sure if I'm ready to be consuming beans at breakfast. Yeah, that's just a cultural thing. One's experiences in life. The cooked tomatoes are taking a little getting used to. I love a raw tomato. I love spaghetti sauces. I love tomatoes in many forms, but I don't know if I'm going to get used to the cooked tomato aspect. And meat was off the hook. That sausage was amazing. And very very satisfied and full and the bacon so mm -hmm. the way it's thick bacon here and, yep. oh, yeah. well that is quite a bit of content for one video and we actually have some ground that needs to be covered because we're heading up to Milton Keynes to visit the House of Radfords uh, before the Overland show uh, up by Stratford. What's that? Where Stratford upon England, yes. Yeah, where uh, Shakespeare's from. Mm -hmm. So we got some great things ahead. Stay tuned for those, but we're just going to cover some ground and take a day off from the camera and just jam out to copyrighted music. Such satisfaction. Right to the place. Oh, Google. Me and me arse. <laughs> you just said that on camera. <laughs>